Well, good morning. I just thought I'd give a quick update into Woody the Harris Hawk. First malt, my first experience with a malt. We've been through one season hunting. If you've seen the videos, you know um, that I was and still am a beginner. I got the Harris Hawk. If you've not seen, you can check out the other videos, but basically I've got the Harris Hawk last um, August last year. Trained him up, flew him for a season, and now we're into the first mile. So, I'm just putting this uh, video on here for anyone that maybe next year will go into the mole and you can see what to expect if you see things going on or your hawk changing in behaviour you can see that that's perfectly normal. I've noticed the difference in my hawk, the way it felt to be so loyal to me and now I go in there and it's just moving away all the time and doesn't really want to know me. All it wants is food, the food and then it's happy, he doesn't care if I'm there or not. It's been two months now since we stopped flying Woody, um, about eight weeks, just over, and um, the last two weeks I've had a lot less contact with Woody. As we started coming into this molting um, time, I tried to keep contact with him and keep him manned up, but as the weeks have gone on, I suppose my interest has dropped off a little bit not quite so keen so I've um, left him a little bit more than I would normally so the last two weeks I've already sort of handled him I just put food in and then walk away and he's definitely getting a little bit more feral now so the sun's shining out there today and it's about as I say eight weeks just over since he started molting and we put him away to molt and this morning I, th I think I'm going to clean out the muse because it's getting a bit messy. So this morning I'm going to attempt to go in there and tackle him up, put his muse jesses on him and bring him out, put him on a perch in the garden while I go in and pull all the matting out and give it a good jet wash off. But yeah, he's, he's definitely changed, um, but I know it'll all come back because I've seen him from being completely wild to how good he was with me during the season so I, this coming season I expect so much more I'm sure we're going to have a, a great season I think it's time for a clean out Woody Come on, mate. Good boy, buddy. All right, buddy. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, in. Step, 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 step. Step, step. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Woody. 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 Shh. All right, Woody. Sit. 
So we got him out and he's now on his perch. I'm going to stay out here with him. Give him a little bit of food. See if he wants it. Do you want that Woody? Do you want that Woody? I think from what I saw there, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that anymore. I might just now start leaving him. Right Woody, we're not going to get you out, but we're going to see if you feed off the fist. Woody? Yeah? What's this? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, if you want it. If you want it, step over. Come on, Woody. Here. Come on, mate. Look, nice chick. No. You really lost it, didn't you, mate? Hey. Come on, Woody. Here. No. Doesn't look happy at all. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> you got 
be on a film, mate, isn't it? Okay, so, so <laughs> simmer down. It's, I've tried to show as much as I can of this malt. It's quite difficult to really get enough footage that's half interesting, so I hope you have enjoyed some of it. I will do other videos as I see things happening or changing, especially if he puts more feathers out, which he has been doing, dropping more, um, and maybe get some footage of the ones coming through. But I probably won't get him out the muse anymore. After seeing what I've seen, he really didn't want to get on my fist. He didn't want to be uh, subject to muse. Jess is going in and bringing him out. So I'm probably going to leave him in his muse now and his aviary. And it, if I do clean it out, or once he's in his aviary, I'll shut the little hatch. Then I'll go in and clean the muse out and vice versa. I don't think I'll get him out anymore perching in the garden. He doesn't seem keen on it. Although when he's out, he did eat, but only a chick which he seems to eat whenever, because he likes them. And, uh, Chewy, we'll see you soon. Thank you, it's been quite enjoyable. And it, Chewy, hey? Eh?